vectors. Vectors. Why is it that every space agency uses a vector in their logo? This vector. No, it's not this alien looking wishbone that they've given us to distract us. No, it's not that. does not represent aeronautics as it was the shape of the latest design in hypersonic wings at the time the insignia was created in 1959. No. What is it? Well, let's look up the word vector. Vector is an element of the real coordinate space. You can see here there's many different kinds of vectors. In layman's terms, vector space, a mathematical structure made up of vectors, objects that may be added in another vector or multiplied by a scalar value. For instance, when I use Illustrator, it uses vector graphics, so I can zoom in as much as I want, and I still see a rem it stays the same quality. For example, let's see, define vector. A quantity having directions of magnitude, especially as determining the position of one point in space relative to another. Like our latitude, longitudes, the positions of the stars. What are vector graphics? Mathematical expressions to represent images in computer graphics. Vector graphics are based on vectors, which lead through locations called control points or nodes. It is based on geometry, like fractals. Fractals go on forever and ever. The never-ending pattern. That's our space, our constructed simulation space, our planetarium. So no matter how deep you go, you're going to see the same shit. You're going to see the stupid nebulas that they feed us. You're going to see galaxies. You know, here's the two massive super black holes going to collide. It never ends, guys. Never. It's all vector. And it's not vector from Despicable Me. Look at the orange. Purple and orange. Once again, vector. We've been duped, guys. Eyes to the sky. Robert out.